Hello, Zara. Hello. Hello, Zara. Can you hear me? Hi Zola, are you able to speak? Is your microphone workable? Oh, I will change the source to my MacBook. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can try to share screen. I'll give you the permission. Looks like we got new, no new what to join us. Let's wait to uh two minutes, two more minutes. I believe you have a Google Doc to uh to to present, right?
I mean, you can demo, uh, you can present your screen, share a screen. Yeah. Um, Is this okay? Yeah, we can see it. Um, can we start? Yeah, we can uh, see it. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, hi guys, I'm Bella, and today. We will talk about why is database so important for NextID. Um, NextID is a decentralized identity aggregation protocol that um, in, integrates all Web2 and Web3 digital identities. Uh, it can power a decentralized social network. A relation service enable comprehensive identity queries and social use case. Um, so what is a graph database? Um, a graph database is a database which focuses on relation. Um, something is related to something else. And a, great, a graph database stores information as relationship between identities and representation is data using node and edges instead of using rows and columns in tables. Here is a closer look at what graph database are and uh, why they are unlike other database and what kinds of data problems they are built to solve. Um, today we seem to have as many kinds of database as there are kind of data, key value documents, authentic, uh, clone families, graph or relation nodes. Mm, here is a, a compare of graph database and relational database. Um, in, a, in a traditional relational or SQL database, the data is organized into tables. Each record data is a specific uh, format with a fixed number of columns. Each column with its own data type, such as inter integer time, date, or text. Mm, this model works best because um, you, if you are dealing many with data with any one table, it also doesn't work too badly when you are aggregating data stores across multi, multiple tables, but that the behaviors has some, has some limit. Uh, if you are dealing with millions or even billions relationships, uh, like friends of friends of friends. Uh, for example, those queries don't scale well. Uh, in short, if the relationship between data, no, not a data itself, um, are you mainly consigned, uh, a, data, a graph database is in order. Um, and uh, a, social network, a social network is a good example of a graph. Uh, people in the network will be the nodes and the attributes of each person, such as name, age, and so on, would be properties and the lines connecting to the people with labels such as brand or follow, follow, following uh, will indicate their relationship. Um, a graph database works by storing their relationships along with the data because related nodes are physically linked, linked in the database. Assessing those relationships as it says immediately assessing their data itself. Uh, graph database is simply read the uh, relationship from the storage 
satisfying periods is a simple matter of working or for travel, traversing in the graph. Um, our product um, are full of relationships. So we will get more benefits from our graph database. Um, the next, we will talk about how, how does graph database matter in next ID. Um, the, there are there are some some steps giving next. Um, uh, the firstly we have we have some data uh, on chain data um, contains accounts uh, transactions smart contracts and etc. Uh, and of off chain data many platform data such as uh, Twitter Facebook GitHub Keybase and so on. And we have two ways strong finally data source, um, like proof servers, dotbit owners, or uh, open seed and others. So we so first we modeled our model, our data as a directed graph. Here is the here is the relationship of the entities. And uh, the next step is uh, we should choose the rele relevant data. The model should be able to um, fulfill the requirements while using the least pop possibility possible amount of fields. Um, uh, here is some fields we choose. And we uh, need to build a graph of personal, personal, personal identities. So we choose some uh, identities alike uh, different different platform have different identities and uh, different context address on different trends and the next step is uh, modeling the node relationship and the properties um uh, that uh, identity strongly connect to another connected so we modeled as a proof uh, um, and NFTs owned by owned by entities and we are contracts associated. So we we modeling it as hosts um, and uh, some domain name servers such as uh, in a start bit look up the human readable address we are few hex hexagonally address called re reverse reverse solution. We model it as reverse, reverse, and uh, we use this the CRUD for next ID lookup. Um, the write the write is simple, but the read is expensive. Um, it's called two two mathematics and write 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 the write the the <clears throat> the structures are flexible. And read read is uh in a real time. The speak the speak of uh traveling depends on the number of relationships. And here is the example. Uh, it's a digital as asset management. Um we can we can query NFTs owned by uh account or address. Um and the next the next using is is the graph database analysis. Um, we can find we can find patterns, um, similarities of identities or or passing finds or called traversing. Um, in a social science, a uh, tragic causal will be a situation where where two people with uh multiple friends. Uh, such as um, B A A connect to B and B connect to C, that uh, they may uh, have a chance of meeting each other between A and C and become connect. And another another example is a similarity aggregation. Um, the the vertex of one has ha and the vertex two has a thing structures in the identity network uh, but the vector but the vertex three 
uh, may not seem as v v one may and v two. Uh, so when so when we can make some suggestions or look looking or looking um if if v one and v two will um connect uh, we should choose uh, some similarities of each other's may made they more interesting to each other and the uh, um Traverso is a future we we use in next ID. Um, a traverso starts at one star node and follow all all each connect you to this node. Uh, for all nodes that target by this edge, will again follow all edges and connect to them and so on. And we can we can set the depth uh, from start node to target node. And and limit the limit the depth. Uh, here we'll show a um, example of how to find um, platform in dot bit and identities or her a domain is test dot bit. Uh, here is the result. Um, we can we can see that address connect to dot bit domain domain system and uh, this address has another dot bit name system and uh, they can connect in our system connect to another address or Twitter's or Twitter's or Keybase or um, Reddit or GitHub. Um, the um, the visualization is here. And we can we can see the the notes, the notes we the, the graph visualizing as here. And here is the um, dot bit domain system. Um, and now uh, the current state of our identity graph is here. We have digital asset management and some and some connect to um, same person and uh, different uh, different identities of him. And um, So um, what what we've done is is verified and controls who you are. Um, the next step for next ID is redefined and enrich social in checks. Here is a um a example of mask network uh, red packet events on the item. Um, um smaller this. Um, here, um, address send a red package for 10 numbers and um, a three clamors got a random, random red package. Uh, here is the visualization of red. Um, here is uh, A sends a red package uh, and B and C and here and himself um claim a red package and um, and uh both sent and re received by our type of transitions a relationship between identities um so we we uh the next for next ID is uh we we want to um enrich the relationships between identity identity type identify graph and um here is a, a june an analysis um it's it's a free crypto analysis platform 
um, do make it easier for crypto users to turn block chain data into actionable charts and metrics. Uh, you don't, anyone can query data from the data set and create visualizations with query output and our, our analyze, analytic goal is uh, using next ID. Anyone can query data from the data side and pre create with visualization with the query output, including but not limit to linear structures. Uh, also containers, the graph visualization. Anyone can uh, query collections through our tools. Um, and the and the weight and the weights can also be communalized. Uh, for example, um, uh, the project pays more attention to the uh, NFT related communicate communities. Uh, they can find active people uh, from existing data and pro promote their friends or friends of friends uh, in our data, and he can do more work on it. Um, and uh, um, we can we can we can uh, use uh, more we can define or we can use our data for more using um, like like uh, predicts links between nodes or predicts uh, friends or classify um, the identity graphics or or communicating. Uh, community detections of our data. Um, that's my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Zilla. Thank you for a, a comprehensive demonstration of a database, importance database, uh, graph database for next ID. So I hope this community call will give us a sense uh, especially, I see we have a guest team, La Key, if I pronounce it right. Welcome to the community. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Hi, team. I was on mute. Oh, I just uh, very interested in the uh, the identity graph structure. Uh -huh. um, I do a lot of identity, I guess, R and D, uh, and. Uh, I've linked up to y'all guys and just looking to see how this would apply to some of my development sites. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh, where, where do you come from? Your product, your community? I'm in uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh, actually, I come from the old DOD uh, federated identity uh, background, mostly in you know access control, physical security side but mm -hmm. uh, pretty much picked up on the identity, um, I guess, of uh, <laughs> evolution <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. with the, you know, with blockchain technology. And so uh, I, I'm just trying to find the right solution um, to some of my sites for quite a long, long time. And um, it looks like, like your products is very close to what I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, nice to have you. Uh, let, let me just give you a quick in, introduction of, about NextID. So NextID is a DID protocol, if you've heard of that, DID mm -hmm. decentralized identifier. So we're aiming to provide a whole system that can enable people to use their um, distributed identifiers, meaning you have your um, identifiers in Web3 world, it's the same from your passport, your driver license, et cetera. But it, this whole system is controlled by this distributed system, not controlled by a centralized government anymore, administration anymore, right? So this is for mm -hmm. uh, your um, so, uh, individual sovereignty. And, and next ID, uh, uh, we believe, we believe uh, one account or uh, identity, um, it has the out, uh, outer addresses, but the, the account itself, by account itself, it's a private, private and public key pair. So you have your public key addresses to 
present yourself. Like we using our, uh, we we are using our names in the, in in the real world right now in Web two, mm -hmm. and uh, this and graph graph database here is as we want to have this avatar, the key pair, the private key pair uh, account identity identity referred here avatar. We want this avatar to link all your Web two IDs, also Web three DIDs. Uh, say uh, ENS addresses or your other like dot beat uh, addresses as well. So you will have the avatar link to your Twitter account in Web2, your Facebook account, Instagram account, any of them, your Twitter account, Ethereum, uh, Ethereum all the addresses as well. So you will have this one avatar and, and, and enabling, uh, level, leveling up with a graph database, then you can link your avatar to all the ac accounts you're, you want to have right now out there in Web2 also, uh, both in Web2 and Web3. So you have this uh, avatar to verify and control who you are totally by yourself. So this is what we're doing right now. And the community will re renew, and, and, and we are so glad you are interested in, and uh, if, you, if, if you have any questions, fine. Please fly out and I now think. you're um, on your uh, uh, did method. As far as uh, are you uh, going going which blockchain uh, structure is that your own specific or right now the whole uh, proof chain is uh, distributed on uh, our wave our uh, wave our wave yes okay okay now how does uh, Web five the ion did structure or supposed you know development flavor into what y'all are doing specifically i know or or origin trail are you familiar with them obviously probably with the graph structure but they're they're really tokenized very heavily so is yes. is mm -hmm. your structure on the tokenization side uh and that cost structure for this did issuance is really i'm looking for uh a very large uh, production of, of dids and and issuers and, and validators and and resolvers and stuff like that. So, uh, what what is your your tokenization platform or, or payment rails? Uh, I don't think we. I, I'm not sure if I understand your uh, question right. You saw if you ask, uh, are you asking about if we're gonna have a tokenization in the future, right? Uh, not yet. I think uh, right now you can consider our community as open source community, like uh, mm -hmm. all the open source projects out there does, like like uh, Kubernetes, Docker's, all those cloud-native, uh, either open source projects. So we, mm -hmm. we are running ourselves as an open source community, and as well, um, and also we are a Web3 open source projects as well. So we maybe uh, in future, uh, much much forward as a uh, Ethereum ish project. So for tokenization, we are not have um, a complete complete plan yet, but we are uh, we plan to do it so in near future. But um, I don't think we will we will do it like um, because because for us uh, for this community, we are want we aim to build this thing. This is like a basic infrastructure work three. So we, we wouldn't like to be uh, to, to do it in a way that uh, uh, tokenized too early and to uh, attract users and not builders and make this community like um, to uh, fill up with noises from the tweeters that uh, int uh, that, that interrupt. I totally, the of the totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the the noise is quite heavy out there on that side and uh and, and getting a lot of bad reputation and waves and stuff. So uh, yes, yes. So uh we may consider like uh, releasing our bounds, uh like options. Uh we we're also uh let me share with you, we're also already now doing a, a plan that uh we're recording contributions to the community by what by SBT, by Silvan tokens and GitHub pull apps that we can track uh, the early con uh, contrib uh, contributors here at community. Uh, what, what, what did they do? And maybe uh, do the code, uh, code PRs or do the 
uh, documentations or do simply do the advocate for developers, right? So we're recording the contributions by uh, by uh, SBT Zubon tokens and Kitapo apps. So in future, um, if we're gonna release a token, uh, I think we, we would do it, but we will be very uh, carefully on this. Okay. Yeah, where I'm, I'm coming from is more of the, the end user side. Yeah. Um, so you can, you can follow me on uh, Bridge Identity uh, mm -hmm. on Twitter. Yeah, or only, and um, there's a um, there's a little slide deck I did back in 2015. You can take a look at that's pinned there, and uh, a, a couple of slides at the end gives a little bit of idea about what I'm looking for um, for an end user side. Like a, I own a lot of identity portals, and um, uh, you know something you know like. <laughs> Even things like my humanid.com and my voterid.com and my studentid.com. And basically, these are set to be portals uh -huh. that people apply this did to. But through that, through that register or ledger, then can transpire uh, open graph or knowledge graph to other linked data. To that those identities and sure, so i'm sure. looking to, i'm looking for this the, you know that that infrastructure which is now just coming around uh, you know to to supplying that uh, that level um so this 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 fits quite well um into that yeah thanks thanks uh, uh it's your account uh, the the link we we send in the chat room you can check that if I want to make yeah, it, it should be maybe. Uh, you can see it in chat room. Uh, one of our partners has sent a link of your account. Is that the account bridge? Uh, bridge, bridge, bridge identity. You can Is go to it? Twitter and it's pinned. It's pinned there. And uh, if you look at that, it's a slide deck I did years ago. And basically, you walk through it. It's going to basically show your graph architecture through Neo uh, 4J years ago. Um, so this uh, this architecture's uh, origin trail has is, is been doing, I guess, the most I've seen, but uh, with Polygon and, and, and some of that stuff is, is so tokenized, it's uh, sort of scary. Yeah. So- um, yeah, Sorry, Tim, uh, would you mind to like share your uh, Twitter account? Because I, I think the uh, account no, is not the way I look. Let's see. Uh, yes, yes. Just take your time. Share, share the account of your link at the chat box. Let's see. More? No. Share. It says I cannot share a screen while another participant is sharing. Um, oh, uh, Adele, could you, uh, could you please uh, cancel your screen chat? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can share it now, team. Go ahead. Which would it be? It would be uh... I think that might be it. Yeah. We can see it. Okay. Right. Great chat Okay. Oh, this is so great. Okay. You're, you're interested in the IOTs. That's that's a good direction. Well, it's a little bit bigger than IOT. <laughs> yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> so we get back to the I mean, this is like six, seven years ago. 
Uh-huh. Uh, hold on. Okay. This is pretty much what all. Let's see where you at. Yeah, got it. So that's pretty much where the what is it called knowledge graph back then, but understand. Yes, understand about this. Yes, yes, yeah. And then you got your permission to non-permission blockchains and your bridging. Uh huh. You got your identity portals. Uh -huh. And it's basically creating uh, persistent data through mm -hmm. the blockchains. Mm -hmm. Then you would have your blockchains and your your different different nodes. And there's the infrastructure, and then this gets into some of all the the identity sites that that we have. So we're we're basically was replacing all of the cards that you could ever have. Yeah. yeah. And So many your smart. So then it's the identity clusters, which basically uh -huh. now gets back somewhat into the into uh -huh. the knowledge graph. Mm -hmm. And your different clusters. And this your different frameworks or different industries. And then here's where we get a little we get a little funky, mm -hmm. as in. Uh, bridging or connectors and chain, like chain link is basically something that's familiar with, with some of this, you know, structures, but creating tuples, you could, big tuples are probably would be considered uh, selectable uh, NFT groups or galleries or whatever you want to call the day. But basically a user interface that there's different tuples that maintain different groups of identities. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a, a sample, um, I guess a, a payment rails funnel, data funnel, where if you've got an existing database ID or a schema ID, mm -hmm. uh, those basically could go into different network ID structures and then funnel and just dissipate into the different uh, dynamics of whatever the the uh, smart contract or user. Back then there wasn't smart contract, so <laughs> like I say, this has been updated. But it, this is shows some of, of some of the identity uh, uh, Bitcoin structure. But yeah. so anyway, that's just something about where obviously we have hundreds of these different node architectures based on different. Um, um, different applications. You will probably find those in most advanced smart contracts. Yeah, Tim, thanks for sharing. I think your vision is way ahead uh, from the industry, also the world. Because uh, I think um, up to this year today, I think in 2022, we now have DID and also zero journal knowledge proof. All of these tag stacks are uh, maturing. And I mm -hmm. think this maybe uh, can swoop out the obstacles that in front of your project. And also, of course, uh, I think we can uh, we can have a collaboration uh, in next ID, between next ID and the your project. Yeah, I mean, it fits right in there with you know with the interlinking. Obviously, I'm looking more at the front end side. You know, I'm not a programmer. We haven't got to that level to find the pieces that were advanced enough to 
to put all these pieces together. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, where, yes, where so do, you, do you have like the uh, came to know us uh, on Twitter or uh, in our Discord channel or Telegram? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I came across you. Like I said, I mean, I've I've got a lot of um, you know um, research and you know the identity structure, and mm -hmm. you, you can did a lot of application research for. So when you go to Bridge Identity on Twitter and you look at the, the posts, mm -hmm. you can basically, I put the key identities in the posts. Mm -hmm. So if you want, if you want to search on a article on a specific identity, like uh, let's say you want to search for my stock ID or my, uh, my citizen ID or my national ID or, um, my security ID. You just type in whatever you want on there, and it'll pull up an article that's related to specifically identity for that structure that that application, going back probably about seven years. Mm -hmm. So it's a good res it's a re good resource to show what identities are associated with a certain uh, application, whether it's government, commercial, uh, personal, medical, so forth. Yeah, I understand. So by doing all that research, you run across a lot of people in identity <laughs> or, or self-sovereign identity. Or, but I really started out in the uh, identity of IoT and like card readers and hotel ID and your my employee ID that would let you in a door and associate it to a lock ID and you know all that good stuff. So I came from the physical side, mm -hmm. not, not so much on the network or the, the industry side, but now with most, uh, you know, with everything going to the quick architecture and IPv6 advanced, you know, there's a lot of IoT integ integration that I, I'm uh, more into than basically maybe the crypto side. Yeah. I believe I believe so as well. I believe so as well. Of course, uh, I think up this maturing of uh, DIDs to softwares of uh, these identities. Next step is uh, link us with the uh, IoT devices out there. I think the thing mm -hmm. is what will happen have in maybe within five years. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, with a lot of the, I mean, the wireless, some of that stuff side is pretty heavy. So. Like I said, we're uh, definitely just in the beginning of this thing. So we're just trying to put the, you know, put the right uh, pieces that we can, you know, develop with and, and uh, you know, get some MVPs, you know, going. But um, unless you got the right architecture, you know, you would go down the wrong path. And so that's sort of why I've had these sites for 20 years. So mm -hmm. it's been a long time waiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, it's, it's so fortunate we have you uh, in this community call. And I think uh, let's, let's uh, step in touch and I would like to enjoy, uh, invite you into our telegram, telegram groups, also Discord. And I will share the link. Here. Yeah, I'll grab on your, the Discord and, and uh, yeah. if you got an Instagram or whatever, and we'll just keep keep up and uh, we'll see what uh, we can get together. Mm -hmm. Where are y'all out of? Mm -hmm. Singapore? Uh, like we are a Web3 startup. Uh, we are founded by a Web3 startup and all the colleagues, or should I say community members, we are like uh, distributed all over the world. So right now I'm in Bangkok. We have, okay. uh, we have people in China. We also have people in America. So yeah, so Web3 and digital nomad. Okay, cool. All right, sounds good. Yeah. Thanks team. Thanks team again. Nice to have you. So uh, if you if you with, without the other do you, if you don't have a, have no other questions, uh, we will have this community meeting end and let's looking forward to for our next meeting. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks team. And thanks Dana again for sharing uh, the growth database and let's promote it.
the recorded videos in YouTube. And please help to upload it to YouTube one way. And let's uh, like to advocate this video across the developer, developer community. Let's see if, if I believe out there, there are many developers like team, also uh, people like team uh, interested in this. So let's, let's uh, spread out the message. And thanks everyone. Thanks for joining for the community call for next ID for the seventh time. And we'll meet in next uh, meeting within uh, two weeks. Exactly the, the date, Wednesday, bi-weekly. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you. End the call.